Welcome to this OptiPlanner demonstration of vehicle routing with time windows. So uh, in this vehicle routing case, uh, just like in the classical vehicle routing case, we have to deliver items to our customers. And uh, here are, is our warehouse where all our items are currently. And here are a number of customers. So each of these dots represents one of our customers. And we need to send vehicles from the warehouse to the customers to deliver all of these items, right? And we want to minimize the fuel that those vehicles use. Now, there are a number of hard constraints. Uh, for example, each customer needs a number of items delivered. So this customer needs 10 items and this customer needs 20 items. Um, and uh, the vehicle must be able to carry those items. So uh, in this case, a vehicle can carry 100 items, but in, in other use cases, it might actually differ from vehicle to vehicle. Um, and there might be multiple uh, types, you know, uh, weight, um, um, uh, size, and, and so forth, right, uh, of the items that, that matters. Um, now, the second thing is, because this is a time windowed uh, example, is that each customer has a specific time window in when, when the vehicle can arrive. So, for example, for this customer, the vehicle must uh, be at that customer between 12 and 1 o'clock. And in this case, between 1 and 2 o'clock. And, and this, uh, for this customer, between 2 and 3 o'clock and so forth, right? So, um, if we would arrive too late, um, then uh, that's not a good thing because then we the customer is already gone. So um, that's not good. Okay, so let's see what happens if OptiPlanner solves this, right? Okay, so this is the best solution here. So um, the for example the, the 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 green vehicle goes to this cluster and. Uh, it starts from over here and it arrives a little bit after 12. Uh, although it departs here at 12 o'clock, it, uh, it takes a while to travel from the warehouse to the customer. So that's why it arrives a little bit after 12 o'clock. There's a travel time between every two locations, of course, right? Um, on top of that, uh, there is a service time at every uh, customer. So um, for, uh, it's about half an hour or something, if I recall correctly. So uh, it services that customer and then it goes to the next customer and arrives there at around, around a little bit after eight o'clock, one o'clock, sorry. And then it goes to the next customer, arrives at two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock and so forth until it uh, arrives at this customer at about nine o'clock, right? Um, if it would do this cluster in any other order, that, that wouldn't be do, that good because, for example, if we start with this one, um, it would can only leave there after nine o'clock, um, as a result of which um, it would be too late uh, to visit all of the other customers. So it's important to visit them in the right order. Um, this is, of course, an artificial example, as you can see, because it's a real uh, coincidence that it's really as nicely ordered as this, right? So this is a, a very artificial example. Um, I'll show some uh, more real examples in a minute. Now, uh, let's take a look what happens with the yellow uh, truck. Uh, so the yellow, trucks le le uh, yellow truck leaves here, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. And then it arrives over here at around 3 o'clock. But you can see it arrives too early. Now, that's okay if uh, it can a truck can arrive too early, but then it has to wait there until the, the customer is actually there. So until the customer is ready, as until its time window opens. Um, and in this case, the time window opens at seven o'clock. That means that uh, it can only start servicing the customer at se seven o'clock, uh, leave the customer out uh, at about 7.30 and only arrive at this customer at, at eight and, and then this one nine. So it's basically wasting a, a quite a bunch of time there, but it's not wasting any extra fuel. Um, and as the score is defined in this example, we want to optimize the fuel usage, not the time usage. If we want to, if we would actually also, also want to optimize the time usage, we can easily add this in. And then you see another solution um, as the best solution. Then, then you'll actually see uh, an extra vehicle being used to drive to these three customers and the yellow one will, would return after this uh, home after this customer. Okay. Um, so. Let's take a look. Um, what happens if we take a bigger example, uh, a little bit more data? So in this case, we have 100 customers. And you can see uh, each of these customers, again, have time windows, right? So let's see what happens when OptoPlanner solves this. And um, you can see now currently has a solution of, which uses uh, 1,000, um, a little under 1,760 fuel, uh, but it's getting better and better. So if you give it more and more time, it finds a, a solution which uses less and less fuel. Um, of course, it will never be zero because yeah, uh, driving to customers takes fuel. You, you cannot avoid that. Um, and um, 
But if you look at this, this looks like a pretty good solution. So um, it's slightly improving a little bit more. Um, I'm going to stop it. Um, so we are at uh, 1650 um, after a few seconds. Um, and if you look at this, you'll find that it's very hard to improve upon this. You might think we can move one of these customers from the blue uh, vehicle to the to, to the uh, yellow vehicle or the or the uh, purple vehicle in this case. Um, but you have to keep a couple of things in mind. First of all, you have to make sure there's enough room uh, for the cup, for those 29 items in, in, in the new truck. And more importantly, you have to make sure that um, that when you you actually go about to, to, to drive, for example, the purple truck to over here, um, then it will actually mean that you will waste time doing that. And you might not actually arrive in time uh, for, the, the, for the time windows behind that, right? So, um, or you might actually, or you might not actually arrive at this location itself uh, in time because uh, where you put it in between. Um, and as a human, it's it's very hard to see something you can improve upon this. Actually, it's it's. Uh, but but of course, a computer can do much more. Uh, can can do look at far more combinations and and, and try to actually improve this. Right. Okay, um, so we have a solution right here of 1,650. Uh, let's see what happens if you use the exact same data set but, the, but with more flexible time windows. So uh, this was the original data set, right? And now we're going to use the, 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 the same data set with the same locations, same uh, demands, but with bigger time windows, right? And uh, let's see what happens if we solve this. And as you can see, quite fast is actually already much better than the original data set. Uh, um, in fuel usage, so the original one used uh, had a had a, a best solution of something like a thousand six hundred and fifty. Uh, this one is only at thousand three hundred and twenty four at this point uh, already because yeah, it's far more flexible, right? So um, the time windows are um, are making it far easier for us to to, to find a good solution. Um, of course, um, we would like that all of our customers are. Uh, time windows are very flexible but uh, we have to listen to our customers if we want to run a business of course right so um, their time windows might not be this flexible okay and of course we can go for bigger examples here's one with 400 customers and you can see we can, we can optimize this too and so uh, and so forth right uh, but let me show you um, the 25 the, the small case again and show you one more thing and which is called real-time planning so here we have a um, uh, best solution let's see what happens if I add uh, a customer so let's see what happens if I add a customer over here you can see that now the yellow truck first drives to over here before it drives to the other places and we can add one let's say over here and you can see See that the the green one now now drives to this one first and so forth right um, so this real-time planning where we can actually add extra uh, customers as we are we are already playing right okay so thanks for watching um, if you want to know more about opta planner which is an open source solver in Java uh, then you just go to the website which is called optoplanner.org uh, you can easily try this example yourself or one of the many other examples in, in opta planner um, so yeah, download the examples if you're interested. So the, again, the website is optoplanner.org. Thanks for listening. Bye.